to you. England for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. And now the time. All right, let's go. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for ten rounds tonight between these two. Move those feet. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Halfway through round number one. Vicious is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. And he's holding. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. And he decides to tie up again. seconds to go in this round and you see he turned defense into offense comes back with the counter punch and that's exactly what he brings to the game he makes you miss he makes you pay and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on gets rid of that it was intended for his head Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Able to cover up that gut. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. The Warrior's just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight, and since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Head moves, yeah, and the head important moves. thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing, and he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more aggressive. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And he just holds on there. Vicious his right hand scores well that time. Fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pads, you know? That's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. See the defense.
defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Nice work with the uppercut. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. And yet another jab lands. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. And now he's targeting upstairs. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's the end of round three. Deep breath. Relax. Vicious is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Nice block. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Vicious is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Now hugging on the inside. impressing the judges and himself with that right hand halfway through round number four really wanted that uppercut but just couldn't get it need to keep that head moving now he ties up there that worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like nice that. Works. Nice work. Well timed, well placed uppercut there. Vicious' his right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Great movement to get away from those punches. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. In and out! In and out! I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights. One of those fights where somebody's getting hurt. Where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests. Where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Vicious is able to land a good, solid left hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Blocking a score. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is.
You see him holding on. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Very nice defensive guard there. Vicious' his corner right now knows what's going down here. They got a fighter who can win this fight, but they need to urge him to win this fight here in the later stages. The Warriors keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Good job! Vicious is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Cover Takes up, one, gives up. one. The right hand scores well. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, now. Up top with the right hand. He's tight. Vicious is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. The Warriors making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart, you're slick like this guy, and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. And just grabbing on to his opponent. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Right to the head with that right. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Very accurate with the overhand right. Watch the hook! Oh, good exchange there! Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Vicious' his blocking ability is doing well for him there. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Keep working him, bud. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? The stage. Start of round eight. Teddy's got it a close fight. The Warriors enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent has been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, Joe. He's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Vicious is missing punches here. Now, the good news is. 
He's throwing punches. But Teddy seems to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He's just throwing them downstairs. This guy's there moving his go. head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's going to do. Am I going to get up? One, two, three, four. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. He scored well after being hit himself. Able to dismiss it. Nice. The Warriors' right hand working well that time. He scored well. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Hey, 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 let's go. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. He snaps a jab. Vicious his right hand scores well. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. Fires right back at him. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. The Warriors left working well that time. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. The Warriors' objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Not able to connect with the uppercut. The Warriors showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You could still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work. But make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Watch the hook. Not able to land the headshot. Vicious is scoring with that right hand. You can do this. You win this. You don't want this to go to the cards, okay? Go for the knockdown. Right to the body. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Hey, man, come on, now, keep your feet moving. Come on, man. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. That uppercut absolutely <laughs> rocked him. What a big shot. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? So now the
the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Vicious is hurt by a superb big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Vicious is flat-footed. Great round now. Back and forth after he did the hurting. He's the one hurt. Joe, simply puts, this is about wit, grit, and spin. This is about fighting. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. The fight is over, but now the debate begins. Who won that fight? This is where you hope that the criterion for scoring a fight is understood by the judges because if there's any gray area, you're going to be all over the place in this one. Very hard to pick a winner. Vicious is your winner by unanimous decision. All three judges giving it to him. I didn't agree with the judges completely, but they got the right guy with it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.